Dear Ukrainians, I wish you health. We have good news. Another 116 Ukrainians were released from Russian captivity. Of them, 114 are privates and sergeants, and two officers. Soldiers of our army, the National Guard, Territorial Defense, Navy, Border Guards, and the State Emergency Service. We are constantly working to bring home all our people held in Russian captivity, and I'm happy every time it succeeds. I thank our entire team that prepares exchanges, the coordinating staff of the Defense Intelligence, Budanov, Yusuf, Yermak, Kwemenko, Maluk, Lubinets. I thank everyone. Thanks to everyone who helped. Of course, it is worth mentioning Denis Monastirsky. He participated in preparing this exchange, and his death is really a big loss for our country. Since February the 24th, our team has managed to return totally 1,762 Ukrainian men and women from Russian captivity. I also thank all those involved in helping these people after their return. Everyone who treats, restores documents, helps solve problematic issues of those released from captivity. It reflects the basic meaning of what we do. We restore and protect the normality of life for our people in a free country. I spoke today with Rishi Sunak, Mr. Prime Minister of the UK. A very important conversation. We prepare by vital sins with him. I thank the Prime Minister and all the British people for helping our country. Now in the UK, our guys have already started training on Challenger tanks. It's a good vehicle, and it will be a big scene on the battlefield. Together with our partners, we do everything daily to ensure that our soldiers have sufficient strength to defend against the terrorist state. We also discussed other promising things that can strengthen our defense. The issue of the threat to the international Olympic movement, which arose due to the weakness of the international sports bureaucracy, due to those who are trying to actually allow Russia to use sports for propaganda, was separately touched upon. I am glad that the world hears our position that the Olympic principles must be unequivocally protected from the terrorist state. I signed the relevant documents to take another step to protect and cleanse our state from those on the side of the aggressor. There is a request from the security service regarding persons with records that they have Russian citizenship. Tomorrow another legal step will be taken to implement the sanctions and decisions of the National Security and Defense Council. And we are working to synchronize our sanctions with partners' jurisdictions. The enemies of the free world have no right to use the free world for their own interests. And one more thing. During the 346 days of this war, I often had to say that the situation at the front was tough and that the situation is getting tougher. Now is that time again, a time when the occupiers rose more and more of its forces to break our defenses. Now it is very difficult in Bakhmut, Vuhodar, Neowiman and other directions. But now, as every day of this 346, the resilience of our soldiers decides everything. Our resilience. It's not about the efforts and plans of Russia, it's about the courage and determination of our soldiers, the effectiveness and speed of all who support and help to support our defense forces, the attentiveness of all those who defend Ukraine's international positions, the strength and unity of our people, all those who work for our victory, and all those who support our heroes and the Ukrainian state. To preserve all elements of our resilience is to guarantee victory. Glory to all our soldiers. Thanks to everyone who helps. Glory to Ukraine.